Okay, hello folks, uh, welcome back to Chaos of Cut. I have done a full reboot of my computer and so I hope this works out again. This game, you know, this runs in Unity actually. And I'm sometimes I'm kind of like I'm kind of doubtful if Unity is the best engine for a tile based game such as this one. But um this makes this makes it pretty portable to everything else and so on, I guess. So that's cool. And it runs on a well supported modern engine, and that's also cool. But uh yeah. I wonder if stuff like that sometimes stems from this fact. Because compared to um this game also has kind of higher hardware requirements than you might think. Which I guess probably stems from it running in Unity. But I digress. Okay, let's see. Obviously the original ASCII version did not run in Unity. Oops, yep. This is a very similar thing as uh, the other cave. It's also just a linear, linear dungeon path down. Um, wonder how far we can take this, or if we will also at some point just... Oopsie, what was that? Oh no, it was just a puma. It was not, in fact, a... Slumberling. We might actually be able to deal with the slumberlings at this point, so uh, I don't worry about it too much, but I'm not gonna push my luck. There's another mimic, which is probably gonna, yeah, kill the bat. i kind of expecting this. These things just also killed a bat. These bats are kind of aggressive down here. Not against us, but against everything else. Maybe they shouldn't be. Maybe they... Like, for their own self-preservation, they maybe should not be aggressive against mimics and... You know, beetle bums and other stronger stuff. Maybe they should just hang out. Oopsie, what are you? Gersh worm? Interesting. Not seen a Gersh worm yet. Okay. I think it had the same sprite as the slug in Golgotha, interestingly enough. Uh, that's one of those gnus. I'm gonna leave the gnu over there because the gnus. There's an Equimax down here. Well, that's also interesting, certainly. And that's that. Okay. Well. And let's continue. Atari. Okay, we are in a Tari area again. This is again a... I think again a bunch of turrets and there's another Gershwam. Seventy experience, yeah. Oops, an acid slug? Yeah, enemies are picking up. Enemies are picking up a bit. Oh, it's a laser turret, actually. Oh yeah, badly wounded. Gain a level. Good! Awesome! Gained another level. Means we can get some more stuff. I think I'm actually gonna go for this stuff over here. I think I'm gonna increase my pistol skills somewhat because uh, that's actually kind of useful the pistol stuff right now. There's a slumbling. Said I don't want to push my luck but maybe I can... You know what? I'm gonna try it to attack it and let's see if we can injure it. Badly wounded, dead. Okay, yeah. We can, we can totally deal with slumberlings now. At some point you are just strong enough and it stops being a problem, but um, yeah, because slumberlings are slumberlings, I'm always kind of scared, still, and I, uh, I think at maybe around level 15 or something you are actually getting good enough 
So you don't have to worry about that too much. We're level 8 actually now. We're actually getting pretty deep down. These are relatively deep caves, which is cool. Um, oh yeah, and that slows down again. Okay. It just That just seems to be something that is happening here. Maybe because there are so many layers underground or something. Oops, oops, oh yeah, oh no. Oh, no! Ooh, 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 that mortar is no fun. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. When, when they, these things get you, they get you. Jesus, that thing was just pelting me with those mortars. Okay. Whew. Have to be, uh, have to be mindful of that. Oops, there's another one, actually. So how about we stay here and let that thing come to us? There's another one of these double-headed slug snouts, and there's the mortar. Okay, 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 okay. Jeez, jeez, jeez. Can you come over here? Resting into heal, yes. Case spider dies. Mortar is still around there. Firing away at garbage. Hey buddy, wanna come here? Mm-hmm. Oh, there's some stuff here. Plate mail, motoring corpse, and a carbide shield. Um, I'm just gonna pick up the book, actually. Where's that mortar? Did you kill yourself? It might actually have killed itself. There's another novice of the sightless way somewhere. Yes, there he is. Okay, what is that? Charred corpse with the two-handed carbide hammer. Interesting. There are more stairs down. I wonder how deep these go, actually. I wonder... This certainly makes the ruins areas way more interesting. Oh dear, there's a lot of acid now. I don't want my stuff to... Well... Ah! I guess we're fine, <laughs> but acid is bad news in cud. Okay, we're gonna stay next to the... there's a phase web over there. So I don't know where that comes from. Carbide longsword and a puma chitin west. We can't use that, okay. But, uh, oh, I picked it up actually. Um. 30 pounds. That's way too much. There's a lot of phase stuff here. Um, phase webs. I don't know where they come from. That could have. That could be one of those voiders, which would be all right with me. Yeah, there. He, there he is. It was actually a voider. I just teleport you around, so that's okay. That's not too bad. I was um, I was fearing it might be something more troublesome, but uh, didn't seem to be. Okay. Let's see. Where are you? Dead? Are you? Just gonna shoot that thing dead. Okay. Yeah, like our pistol stuff is actually kind of great. I'm actually kind of into the damage we do with our pistols and into our accuracy. There's something actually shooting a bunch of stuff at us. Oh yeah, it was one of these. I did not know that the two-headed slug snouts can rapid fire like that. Interesting. 
There's a Rustician. I remember them actually turning up earlier. I remember seeing them in the underground waterway, the Rustaceans, but that does not happen anymore. Apparently they have been sort of promoted to later level enemies. Like higher level enemies, because they obviously also still give us a bunch of experience. I have kind of, I kind of remember them being um, just a stronger version of the eyeless crabs, which they are still, but um, level 10 actually, wow. Um, which they obviously still are, but yeah, they seem to be stronger now and more dangerous and we only find them later on. I don't actually know how far we should take this. I don't know how far this goes and if we just should stop at some... Oh yeah, what are you? Plus, plastronoid. And well, there's a glow white. Hmm. And what are you? A mysterious gunslinger. You have a... That's a long sword, but I'm gonna kill you anyways. What is this? Let's slug. Slender like a borderlands revolver. I'm gonna. So let's unload this one. Let's get this one. Let's go into our equip uh, into our equipment here. Borderlands revolver. Unload, remove, and we're gonna put the slender lacquered borderlands revolver here. Alright. Okay, there's a turret. Let's take out the turret. We seem to be getting into folded carbide territory though. So uh I mean this was just now just a longsword. Maybe we can actually net ourselves some good stuff here. So uh, I think I'm just going to pick that up, actually. Maybe we can sell that to the one caravan guy for some good money. Long swords are actually are often very... You know, there's some value associated with them. Ooh. Oh, no, I'm burning. It's okay, I think, yeah. Can always pour some water over ourselves, but... Uh, it wasn't too big of a problem. Uh, some w widgets that are actually hostile this time. Yeah, and what are you? You're an eggle maggot. Let's destroy the eggle maggot. Kill these guys. Hmm. The population of these caves is certainly getting interesting. And it still goes further down. Down, down, down we go. I'm still scared that we might run into something totally terrible. Yes, we killed the traipsing mortar actually with our first attack. <laughs> Whew, I was actually prepared to, you know, go back up immediately if that didn't work. Because that thing, we were totally in the open. That thing would just have pelted us until we couldn't tell north from th south. But uh, it did work out fine. And that was a good shot, actually. Yeah, this high agility actually probably does wonder for our, for our aim. There's also down there, there's another turret, I think. Or not. Wasn't there another turret? Lacquered carbide folding hammer. Mm. And a floating glow sphere. Definitely gonna pick that up. Uh, the thing is, we, are, we already have that hover sled equipped. But I don't quite know what to do right now. What to take. We have the minor helmet. I guess once we get a, get a headwear that is significantly... Or that gives us... Big improvement to dodge value. Eyeless king crab, oh dear. Badly wounded, yeah, we can kill that thing. Um, 
Okay. That really does increase our dodge value. Then I will actually probably get rid of the hover sled. Right now, it doesn't really make sense. I mean, we could use the white brimmed head. I guess, but yeah. Well, that's been a floating glow sphere in the wild. And my telephone is going, but since I'm already at 15 minutes, I think I can end the video here. Yeah? And, uh, yeah, well, I hope to see you again next time, and we're probably gonna explore some more down here. Thanks for watching, and see you again soon.